Call me working out, didn't you? Well, anyway, good morning. Uh, enough of this, anyway. All right, let me tell you what we got going here. Right now, we have uh, this water tank we purchased. Uh, certain dimensions you have to know about. But we're not going to discuss it right now. That means I have to get under there and show you. And we'll be under there next time around to show you exactly what went on on, on it. But anyway, most of our work will be inside today on the installing the shower door. So, once again, come on in. Alright, here we are. We're back in the shower. I framed a little bit more so, uh, you know, we could uh, put the paneling on. But anyway, you know, as you can see, there's a little tricky cut going around this here air conditioning unit right here. All right, so a lot of measurements and uh, stuff to be taken. But other than that, you can cut a piece of cardboard out because we can't put the whole piece of paneling up there because there's not room enough. So we're going to cut. We cut a square piece of cardboard. I already did this. I cut it out. But anyway, you know, you slide it in here, right? Get it into position. All right, so let's just say this was a square piece of plywood and it was down like that, right? All I did was take, put it in position, take my pencil, I scribed it out, right? And then when I pulled it out, I cut it with a utility knife and got my pattern. Now, I'll take my pattern, bring it over to the sheet that we're going to use, and uh, cut it out. All right, you line it up in the corner here. You get it about right, and then we scribe it. Okay, as you can see, I already had the line scribed. I'm cheating over here, but it's for your benefit. We bought a saw blade for this. It's mainly for finish work. I uh, see. Saw blade to be used if you want to get a close up. Uh, you can always go to Home Depot or places like that, and the people there are more than willing to help you. Just tell them what kind of lumber you have, or wood, or whatever kind of stock you have to be cut, and uh, they're there to help you. I'll right, give you so everything. I got you need. that scribed out. I went ahead and changed the saw blade. Okay, put a finished saw blade on it with uh, my crescent wrench. Oh, wait, this isn't my crescent wrench. But I'm sure one of my viewers that will be watching this will know whose it is. Haha. <laughs> See how it's shaped now? Uh, I don't think, well, you know, you saved this piece. You never know you might. What is this? <laughs> Somebody's tracking this around while I'm working. Hey, wait. Hold on, I gotta move my workspace now. The photographer, the video man, this is what he does. It's all over the place now. <laughs> all right, cut! All right, we moved it over here. Cleaner work area, we're on the grass now. It's all right. One with Mother Earth, you know? something like that all right so 22 and here we are I turned the white side up so it don't get dirty too all right 22 and three quarters make your mark I call crow's foot all right let me get up I need a straight edge now so I'm gonna steal this one from under here for a moment straight edge when I talk straight edge straight edge <laughs> Look at the camera, baby girl. I want to introduce you my baby girl. Her name's Roxy. She's the one you see running around here so much. I love her. I take a bullet for her. There we go. I cut the paneling here. Okay. Go around the doorway opening. And I'm sure you're still looking at this right now, you know. It's the closest I was able to get it. 
but that's no problem. We're going to be putting trim all along here. You never see stuff like that. You So you don't have to be like right on the money, you know? Unless you are uh, got a problem with you, yourself and you have to be on the money and knock yourself out. Here's our door. We're going to be hanging in, hanging it in the opening there, but first we've got to cut it down to fit the opening. Let me tell you what this is. We changed the uh, saw blade off this from a wood cutting saw blade to uh, this cuts uh, metal products, you know, different kind of steel. Uh, you can find it anywhere where they sell saw blades. Look at this. All right, now that I think about it, just right now, we could use this as a cabinet door later on when we're putting up, uh, you know, for the storage space. Perfect. Let me go store this. <laughs> all right, here we go. We're going in, so all aboard. Yeah, the way I'm getting in here, I wouldn't suggest it to you because uh, this is the unsafe way. Or it could break. Okay. That's it. We're done. Door hung. Everything looking good. Opens and closes good. As you can see, close. Open. Swings good. Not bad. I uh, cease to amaze myself. And uh, here we go. Next week we'll uh, be putting in this here inside panel. Can't really see it right now, but we bought this from the RV place too. See, it's a regular shawl store panel. We'll be cutting it down to fit it in. And here, right in here. Once we get that in, then uh, you know we'll finish off the sheeting in there. Put your water stops, what have you. And then uh, run the plumbing, you know, to the water tank. That's not in yet, but we could still run the plumbing down to it. And then sheet these walls, probably reinforce it some, you know, so it ain't so pliable. But just don't worry about that too much. You're not going to be like, you know, banging against the walls. It's just there for privacy. And uh, that's that, you know. So I'll see you uh, people in the next episode. Cabinet door, hello. Cabinet door. Cabinet door.